Hi everybody, if you don't know who I am, my name is Liz and I am a second year dental hygiene student in the state of Colorado. I am also a liaison for Andy RDH on Dental Hygiene Academy and I'm so excited to make this video for you guys because it has been requested quite a few times and I think I have some good pointers. So this video, as you can see in the title, is going to be interview tips because for my dental hygiene school, we did have to go through the interview process, and I know that that's pretty common with a lot of dental hygiene programs. I'm not sure if every single hygiene program requires an interview, but mine did, so I figured I would give you guys this little video on some tips that I have for you, because obviously it worked for me. I'm not saying that these will for sure get you in, but I think this is a great place to start. I wrote down some stuff here, okay? So let's begin. Okay, so some dental hygiene programs have a point system. The point system could be based on quite a few things. It could be based on the grades that you got for your prerequisites into the program. It could be based on entrance exam scores like the HESI, for example. It could be based on past experience in the field, military status, are you bilingual, etc. That's something to keep in mind when applying. It's really good to have some shadowing experience on your resume or even if you could get to work in a lab of a dental office or get trained as a dental assistant beforehand there are a few things that that could benefit but you also do not necessarily need to be a dental assistant before applying to a dental hygiene program so just keep that in mind for your interview you should be well dressed your phone should be on silent you have to be sitting up straight and confident and make sure to make plenty of eye contact they are looking for your personality but they also want to know that you're confident with yourself and showcasing a really good posture and eye contact is definitely valuable in an interview process so what should you wear during your interview you want to look very well dressed you should probably wear closed-toed shoes a lot of people can wear heels or you could do boots or flats but closed toed looks a lot more professional than like a sandal also business casual is the attire that i usually go for in an interview type situation which just includes like a blouse and a blazer or um, a solid shirt that's not super low cut. A square neck is really nice for interviews. I wouldn't showcase too much cleavage, but I also don't think you need to be wearing a turtleneck. So just a good blouse that kind of is in the middle of all of those points that you're trying to hit. I always think that black is simple yet classy so i do think that wearing color in an interview is a great way to showcase your own personality which is so important but i also think that if you're at a loss on what to wear and black is something that you have 100 percent go for black it is just super classy and minimal jewelry to avoid distractions a necklace is fine but nothing super low and probably nothing with like a phrase on it. You don't want them like staring at you trying to read what your necklace says instead of listening to what you have to say. Earrings, I would probably keep them to studs and not dangles, but you could see that I'm wearing like a little tiny dangle earring right now. That would probably, this is probably something I would wear during an interview, so that's fine. You can definitely practice and prepare before your interview. You could watch other videos or do some Google question searches. I would also re recommend getting enough sleep the night before so that you're well rested and arrive early to your interview if it's not on the phone or over video. If you are supposed to be at an office, I would probably go try to find that office before your interview date so that you know how to get there, you know where to park, and even though you've done that and you know where to go on your interview day, I would definitely show up 10 to 15 minutes early so that you could sit in your car and have a few deep breaths before walking in and killing it. You could also alleviate anxiety with essential oils or teas, a spray. I love the stress relief spray and lotion and candle from Bath and Body Works if that stuff works for you and you found a scent that just kind of calms your nerves 
content, you can and should do that. One of my absolute greatest tips is to learn the power of a pause. You do not need to fill every silent moment with words. They're not expecting you to talk their ear off. Honestly, they may rather have it another way. Nobody wants to just be like lectured, right? You could definitely take a nice deep breath and have them excited to hear what you have to say for an answer to a question. Okay, so some common questions that could be asked during a dental hygiene interview would be, what does a dental hygienist do? And obviously dental hygienists clean teeth, but the number one thing that I said during my interview and the number one thing that dental hygienists do actually in real practice is they are prevention specialists. We are healthcare providers that educate patients on disease before they occur. We work essentially in healthcare by playing a role in prevention. So that is something I would definitely say during the interview because the main desire for a dental hygienist is to educate. Educate your patients on how to prevent disease. Another question that may be asked is why do you want to become a dental hygienist? And I would be completely authentic and vulnerable. Obviously people can sit here and say like, I've been wanting to be a dental hygienist since I was two years old. I just, you know, saw my own teeth coming in and was super excited to learn about them. Like if that's the truth, then kudos to you. Definitely state that, be honest, be vulnerable, be real. But, um, you could also state, I was driven to this career because of the financial stability that will come with a pretty quick education. As a mother of two, I plan to get myself into a position where I can afford all of the necessities and pleasures for my family within their lives. I would also probably say that I have a background in the field followed by a deep passion in health and I am driven to becoming a clinician people can count on for prevention education. That's probably what I would say and that actually sounds pretty close to what I did say during my interview. I am doing this to be financially independent but I'm also doing this because I really care about people and I want to be somebody who educates them on how to be the healthiest version of themselves because health is your greatest wealth and I full heartedly go through every single day wanting everybody to have as many years added to their lives as they can and to just be healthy and aware of what issues within their lives could cause what problems. Not a bad one, right? Another question that could be asked during an interview, not just dental hygiene, but definitely any interview in the world is what are your strengths and weaknesses? For strengths, you can say that you could probably use your experience experience for any of the field. You have communication skills, you can give people a good experience. You know, a lot of people don't like the dental office. And so I remember stating in my interview that I have always been one of the assistants that work best with mentally challenged patients or high anxiety patients and that people feel very comfortable in my presence. I do a really good job explaining every step of what I'm doing and educating my patients into what's going on or why we're doing whatever we're doing. One of my weaknesses, and this is personal, like a personal weakness, so please state whatever is true for you, but one of my greatest weaknesses is that I am extremely detail-oriented, which if you've been watching my YouTube channel or following me on Instagram or TikTok, then you know that I am just super OCD and type A personality to the extreme. Everything has to be done a certain way for me to feel at ease with my day-to-day -day life, seriously. So I would say that I'm very detail-oriented, which could be time-consuming, although I do have a drive for being thorough. So there is a positive within my weakness, but my weakness is also a pretty decent weakness because in dental hygiene, your turnover for patients is super quick. You have to get patients in and out while being thorough in under an hour or more sometimes if it's a new patient. But yeah, so that's definitely a good weakness to state and that's why I'm working so hard in clinic personally right now to just get a little quicker on everything I do. Okay, one of the most 
asked questions in an interview for every field is tell me a bit about yourself. So I would probably say something like I have a Russian background. I would probably explain how I got into dental assisting. I would explain how I survived an abusive and unsafe marriage, which showcases my rebound skills. I would say that I've moved from state to state in the military and was able to build a network of friends, which shows my communication skills and how adaptable I am. I would say something about how I'm driven to succeed for my children so that I know but never have to rely on anybody else. I would explain how I'm a huge gym fanatic. I go there for stress relief and manage negative emotions with healthy outlets such as outdoor walks, hikes, or allowing myself an hour break to read a personal choice book. That's probably what I would say. So you can mold that around to kind of fit the personality that you have and the hobbies and activities that you enjoy doing. A question I got asked actually in a few different ways during my interview was, what is your understanding of the time dedication for the dental hygiene program and how are you going to manage it? And I said something like, I am determined to give this program my full attention. My employer is on standby for my two weeks notice and supports this endeavor completely. My husband was fully aware of the tasks he would be taking over with the kids and the home. My friends were ready for my disappearance with full support and excitement. My children have been nonstop talking about how cool it will be for their mom to be in school alongside them. So that's something that I remember saying in my interview is that my two weeks notice was already written up and my dentist that I was working for was ready for me to turn it in and that I have let everybody in my family and friend group know that I was about to be in a very intense program and it would require my full attention. So that's what I said. Another question that was definitely asked in a few ways in my interview, so probably in other dental hygiene interviews, is how do you handle stress? I stated that I am extremely balanced and strategic, strategic, sorry, with my scheduling and my priorities. I am undeniably organized down to the material and time blocking in my day throughout the week. And I maintain my physical health as an outlet for my mental health. So they did ask quite a few times like how I'm gonna manage the stress and the time and the credits and what I do to maintain my mental health. So that's what I said. And it has proven to be complete bull crap because I am stressed to the core. I cry a lot. And this program is just 10 times harder than I thought it was gonna be. But that's what I said in my interview. That's what got me in. 90% of dental hygiene is the person that you are. The other 10% is your knowledge and hand skills. So making a person comfortable in your chair is literally nine tenths of what being a good dental clinician is. Be yourself and be honest. They're gonna see right through you if you're answering questions with what you think they wanna hear. You can prep by going to YouTube and watching videos like these, or you could Google questions and practice saying them in front of a mirror, which I actually do recommend doing. I did that and it honestly just helps you feel a little bit more at ease when answering. But long story short, you're gonna just have to be yourself. There's no way around it. They're gonna be able to see right through you. You have to just bring yourself to the table because that's who they're gonna to get to know for these next 18 months or two years, however long your program is. And honestly, you guys, you're gonna kill it. I know it. Interviews are scary. I was definitely super scared. And I remember being really anxious. And then my interview took less than eight minutes. And all they asked was those questions about like how I'm gonna handle stress and the credits. I swear they asked that in 10 different ways. And then at one point we're like, what brings you into wanting to be a hygienist? And I was like, oh, okay, finally, a question about like something about me. Do you know what I mean? Instead of just, oh, I handle stress by crying only once a week. It's on Tuesdays at four. Like, obviously that's not the case, you know? So yeah, my interview was scary. So I understand how scary this process is, but I believe in you guys and I hope this video helped and I love you all. You have a supporter in me. You have a friend in me. You're going to kill it. I hope that you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.